All right, YouTube. I'm back with another video. Um, what the fuck was that? All right, I'm doing a BB gun review, uh, airsoft gun review. Uh, right now, this is my old old uh, BB gun I had. Uh, I just got this like three months ago. This is the C11. Um, this is CO2 powered. This is semi-automatic. Um, with this, there's a bunch of issues with this. Hopefully, Crossman don't get my video taken down or whatever. Um, uh, I lost the magazine. I don't know if you guys can see that. The magazine. You're not supposed to look down there. The magazine for this gun is lost. Uh, if I had the magazine, it's a really good gun. I For the, the slide here. This gun is all messed up. Okay, the slide here. I cut this in there. Uh, shell ejection ejector I don't know why I just did it for looks um it's got the spring here um sorry for the background noise the safety switch here it has a safety but it doesn't work because I dismantled it I don't know how and why but before all of them issues this really was a really good gun you guys could have got this um I would have been happy with this this shoots steel BBs 4.5 millimeter a uh, little barrel comes out every time, every trigger pull, and it's that's this gun. Um, this is a really good gun. Uh, and this gun here, I paid. I think I paid thirty dollars. No, my bad. I paid forty dollars for this. Uh, my original. For this video, I was gonna bring my laptop in here, show you guys pricings and differences of these two. This gun, but this ain't the gun I'm talking about. The other gun I had got, I could put it in the packaging if you guys want me to. Let me put it in here. Okay, I bought this gun today. This gun right here was. 40 no 30 this gun was only 30 dollars and i'm surprised about this gun i'm really i really like this gun here's everything about it if it'll focus will it focus i'll just read that to you guys um mustache coming in thick okay about this gun This gun is made by Crossman and it is new. I don't know if it's new this year or what it how new it is. A couple days, couple months, but it's a new gun. I paid thirty dollars for that. This gun is thirty dollars. And I'm scratching my head, I'm like, why is it thirty dollars? I mean, even though it is a spring assist, why would it be thirty dollars? This gun is this gun is on the scale they're kind of the same gun. My issue with this gun. The C11 is not a gas blowback. I paid $40 for it. It could have been a, gla a gas blowback, but it could have been a cheap version of it or whatever. But it does not move after firing. Um, you got to slide this back, which is kind of ridiculous. And you got to take, unscrew this for a mag. I mean, an air cartridge. Which is ridiculous. You shouldn't have to unscrew this from that um, CO2 thing. You should be able to put this in the magazine with your BBs. Ammunition. Ammunition. So you got and then sometimes it don't fit on here all the way. You see there's a gap. Um, let me get it to focus. There's a gap here. It shouldn't be like that. And it, is, it don't really fit. And, but other than that, it's a really good gun. Um, I don't know if I got... The other video out to you guys yet. I gotta find it if it's not out there on YouTube. But this gun. I'm excited about. It is very long in length. It's a very long slide. And it's got a long barrel. The slide on here. Comes back. It cocks. It does slide. You can see the barrel. This gun is like a Glock. 17. 
Uh, I feel like I'm lagging a little bit. Am I lagging? No? Okay. The thing with this, this gun is, it's not a, uh, it's not a semi-auto, it's a single shot. The magazine holds 20 shots. The magazine looks like a real magazine. Well, it don't look like a real mag. It feels like it. It's heavy. The mag is heavy. Move this out the way. The mag is heavy. And the gun. This is the thing with the gun. It has a safety here. This is my very first review on a gun. Uh, my first review on really anything. Here's a safety here. You cock that. You push that to put in safety. It does not move when it's in safety. And you push that to get it to move. Um, this looks just like a Glock Knight, uh, Glock 17. Um, you can see it has a little square thing at the back. Kind of like a Glock. I don't think it has a hole. But it's very close. Um, this thing, this gun here, you can... Oops, ooh, shit, I hit myself. You guys did not do like that. Um... You cock it like this. No, you don't cock it like this. You can cock it like a real gun. So, like that or like that. This gun is not the best for uh, $30, but it's very, it's very good. I'm not going to really complain about it. Um, there's a lot of features that this thing could have. They do say it's new. I don't know how new it is. I've never seen one that it say new at the top right there. Um, this is a metal slide. The slide is metal, so you get you probably pistol whip. Um, I might turn the comments off for this video, but you can pistol whip and all of that. Um, this is a PSM 45, PSM 45. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see if I can focus. Yeah, you guys can't see that. I should probably use a rear camera. Um, the magazine got screws in it. I don't like that. Magazine has screws in it. And then at the back, there's this random hole. I don't know why. There's a hole here. It's, it goes so far down. It goes like all the way up to here. In the gun. And uh, the magazine is right here. So I'm going to take it out and show you guys the hole still there. It's right here. This is the hole for the, the mag. I don't know. Uh, this fires uh, steel BBs, uh, 45 millimeter, 4.5 millimeter. Um, it has a serial number. It does have a serial number. But I don't think I've ever seen one on a BB gun. Maybe I'm just not paying attention. No, I've never seen a serial number on this one either. They're made by the same as like people crossmen. Uh, Crossman makes some really good BB guns. Um, the thing I hate about this BB gun here is the mag is like a stick. It's so, so small. But it's surprising. It's surprising to me because it can hold 20 shots. 20 shells. And it's a semi. That you can fire as much as you want to, as long as you can pull. And here, it's just, this is a single fire. I'm not even sure how to take it apart to change anything or whatever. Um, it has a shell ejector, but it does not open. It has the um, slide lock right there. If you guys can see it, you see it? The slide lock, but it doesn't lock. Um, you can guys can see the name now. P. P S M four five forty five. It's got the warnings. The serial number is right here. I never seen that before. I never once seen that. If you guys seen that on BB gun? Um, please comment down below if I'm not crazy going crazy or whatever. 
Uh, I want to know what that hole is for on the back too. If you guys have the same exact model, please contact me about all this stuff. And it can, it can slide like, slide like a real gun. Um, you can fire. I think they prefer you to fire copperhead steel BBs. There's a window there. I'm not putting nothing in here. Uh, so the thing about this gun, this the C11 can fire up to 450 feet per second. And it's a semi-automatic. It can hold 20 rounds of 4.5 millimeter BBs. Um, there's a plastic version of this too, uh, where it shoots. Uh, it's an airsoft version of this. It shoots the plastic BBs with an orange tip, and the barrel does not eject out. This gun is really good. Um, I fired it up further than the 450. Uh, uh, that's feet per second. I fired it. This thing goes really far. It can shoot really far. I can tell you that. Um, maybe almost, maybe two or three yards it can fire, which is kind of a lot for this gun. Hold on, let me double check because I don't want to get my information wrong. Hold up. Let me pause real quick. Okay, the C11 was made in two thousand and seven. It's a repeater. It's made in 2007, which is pretty old, but I like the gun still. Um, uh, the top comment can get this gun if you guys want it. Um, I won't ask for any information other than your address and all that to send it to you. But top comment can get that gun. Um, person who comments, shares it on their story and all of that can get that. Um, I'm going to look up more inf information on that gun for you guys. The C11 is really a good gun. It's just, I don't know. Okay, it takes the CO2, which is okay. Um, the magazine is too small for me. I lost the magazine. Um, I went to re quick release and it fell out. Now with this, I can do the same exact thing and it won't fall and get lost. Okay. Uh thought someone was in my nose. Okay, it has a rear sight, um magazine release button, barrel, okay, of course. This is all the owner the uh, owner's manual for you guys. Um aiming at fire and safety. We don't need that. Okay, it takes um twelve gram co2 cartridge capacity up to 18 okay guys that's where we get we get lost um the plastic version of this gun can hold up to eight uh, i think there's like three versions of this gun this magazine for this gun can hold up to 20 shots the plastic one i think can hold up to 15 shots and i don't know if there's another one or what but i know this one can carry 20 shots um, overall length is 6.75 inches. Not bad. It's, uh, I just don't like it really. Um, it's got front and back sights. They are both fixed. Um, well, it's just a bunch of plastic. I think that gun was just 3D, 100% 3D printed. Um, it's 1.10 pounds. It does not slide. Um, it said, okay, the safety feature on here is a slide, um, right here. So, right now, when it slid back, it's fire. When you slide it up, it's not supposed to fire. <laughs> it's not supposed to fire, but this is, this is an issue I had did. You see the barrel still moving? I think that's enough. Just like that, it's enough to let another... BB out, but now we put it here, it goes like that. Um, yeah, this can shoot my bad. Velocity for this gun up to 480 feet per second. 
I was a little off. I said 450. 480 feet per second for this. Okay. Uh, fire. I hope we have those. Um. Yep, yeah, 480 feet per second. This is C11, guys. Um, this gun would be good for target practice. It doesn't have... Well, for me, it don't have recoil. Because I got a tight grip on the thing. Uh, it doesn't have any recoil. Um, yeah, okay. So that's that gun. This gun, the top comment, can win. Hopefully, I don't fall out the phone now. Um, now, let's move on to this. PSM. Hmm. Well, now that I look up this gun, um, Umarex, uh, Umarex DX17 Spring Power BB Gun. This that video was released to YouTube 2017 2016. So I don't think it's really that new or really that old. It's not really it's not far off. Um it's on Amazon. Let's find review um BB gun manual. Okay, I found the manual for the gun. Uh, hold on. Alright, this BB gun right here was made in 2015. It's a PSM 45. Um, it's a spring-powered single-shot metal slide air pistol. Um, parts diagram. Uh, it does have a sight rail or a flashlight rail. It's got the rail. You guys can see that there. Um... Let's find some other things on here. Uh, I think air department. Yeah, the thing is, this gun was only $25, which is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Well, it's really $25, but I paid $27 in tax at a uh, tractor supply. This gun, um, I'm going to use a little bit. I like it. Alright, there's this little tab. You slide the tab all the way down. And yeah, I think lock it here. Like that. To get a quick um to get a quick load. Quick load it there. I think you can take these. Yeah, you can take these off. You can take the you, okay, I can't get it off. There's a tab in here. You can take the grip off and you can replace the grips. Put in the comment section how you're gonna take this. How would you take this off? Uh, it has a thing where you can you can actually buy you can buy grips for this. I get I mean you can change this piece out on a magazine. You can see it has a little slide. It has a part focus. It has a piece right there. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Um, it's supposed to be a slide off. Yeah. Uh, you can buy grips for the gun. Uh, you can replace these out. I don't know who will really actually do all of that, but um, um here, I put the mag. And I got the BBs. This is an old, old container. I've been keeping this container because I like the size and how it can hold. Okay, I'm not gonna get any more out, but the two. It has a limit to your thing on there. Um, I got two BBs out. I want to see if you guys can see it. Okay, sorry. Damn. 
this fucked up so much stuff. Okay. There's a BB in the magazine now. And you drop another one. You can just slide that piece all the way down to the end. Just drop all the BBs in there. If you guys got a quicker way, please let me know. This is going to hurt. Oh. So it doesn't push that much power through. And you put this in here. I'm not going to shoot it in the house, guys. Um, too much stuff in here. I don't want to break anything. But it, I don't think it comes out when you cock it again. Oh, it does. Okay. So once you cock it, I don't know. Let me see if it does it. It doesn't do it now because it doesn't have anything else to replace it with. I think that might be a real gun feature. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it on any of the guns. I'm not going to. So there's one in here now. The only way to get that out is by firing it. But I like that feature because the, the magazine can hold 20 shots. And that means it'll be 21 shots because keep one in the chamber. That can be the uh, thing. Okay, spring assisted BB uh, caliber 0. 0.4 uh, 4.5 millimeters steel air gun shot. This is 1.31 pounds. Uh, it's uh, 8.25 inches smooth bore. So this is what the metal is made of. It's smooth bore, which is maybe like a real gun. There's a couple. Uh, there's a few guns that have. The same slide. Uh, fixed notch, fixed notch right here, and fixed blade. These are fixed. You can hear that. Um, it's safety is a slide, of course. I gotta put it on safety, so I don't shoot myself. 190 feet per second. I'm sure we can get fast, go faster than that. Um, yeah. Other than that, it's a really good gun. Trying to get a thumbnail, guys. Alright. It's time to edit. Peace.